Hey everyone, Kelsey here and welcome back to Gal. Today is a review video. I'm going to be reviewing the new AE Juice Premiere Pro Bundle. Now this thing is packed and loaded with tons of different sets of effects from kinetic titles, regular old titles with animations, emojis that are animated, there's seamless transitions, there are liquid elements, which is one of the most popular parts of this pack. And I'm not gonna be able to cover everything because literally there is so much packed into this bundle, but I'm gonna be showing you my favorite effects, some useful parts, some parts that I think that could use some improvement and then break down a tutorial of how to create some of the effects with the pack. Now, what I've done is I've listed time codes below listing out the different effects that I'll be covering. So if you're in a hurry, you can definitely click on a time code to skip to that part to learn that particular part of this video. And of course, a few more things to mention, AE Juice is sponsoring this video. They set you guys up with a 10% off discount code. So use my code GAL10 to get 10% off. And if you're not ready to purchase yet, there's also a free version. It's called the Just Starter Pack. It is inside of the AE Juice panel. When you download it for After Effects and Premiere Pro, you can just install the starter pack as well as some sound effects that you can play around with until you feel like, oh, maybe I want to invest in this giant bundle that's going to make it so much easier to create with. So consider that. And also, AE Juice works in more than just Premiere Pro and After Effects. You can also buy versions for Avid, for Final Cut Pro 10, for Sony Vegas, for Filmora 9, probably a few more that I forgot in there, but these versions for these other software do not have a panel that you can use like in Premiere Pro and After Effects. You actually have to download all of the effects and they're all individual files that are movie files with transparent backgrounds. So that's one disadvantage. So that's what makes it great in Premiere. So be sure to download the free version and uh, watch till the end because I now do at the end of my videos, a comment of the week. So I answer one of your questions at the end of every video. So leave a comment below and watch till the end to see if your question is answered. So let's go ahead and jump into Premiere and I'll show you some effects. The first thing to do is download the AE Juice Pack Manager. From inside of Premiere Pro, you can go up to Window, Extensions, and it opens up as a panel. And from here, you will see all the packs that you purchased from aejuice.com, or you can download the starter packs if you're just getting started. And what's great about the panel is that everything is stored here. You don't have to worry about importing the effects each time you start a new project. Everything's nice and organized, and it's really easy to use. So let's jump into some of the effects. One of the most popular packs in this bundle is the Liquid Elements Pack. And you've probably seen some of these elements in use before in music videos or in sports videos. Somebody is doing an action, doing a dance move, punching, boxing, break dancing, and like these elements come up and kind of accentuate the movements and just make it more visually interesting. It's a pretty hot thing going on right now. So it's a really easy way to composite these really flashy, glowy animations on live action video, and you don't need to be a guru in After Effects to use it. You can just do it in Premiere Pro and it just takes a couple of seconds. So when we open up the Liquid Elements Pack in the panel, you can see uh, right off the bat that there are a ton of categories. My favorites are the electricity, the impact, and some of the swishes. So in the timeline, I have the break dancer here throwing the punches. And first I wanna put a impact liquid element to when she's punching. So I really like impact 04. I'm gonna double click on that to put it in the timeline where she throws that big punch at the end. And then I'm just going to grab this layer and reposition it so the timing starts when she throws the punch. And since each element is a motion graphics template, we're going to be using the essential graphics panel to customize it. So select the layer and here we can reposition it using the X and Y coordinates so it aligns exactly with the movement of her punch. And I'm going to change the color to red and I'm gonna remove the stroke. I don't really like the stroke. I don't know why, I just don't like the stroke. If you're a stroke person, I guess leave a comment below. If you're not a stroke person, like this video because I'm not a stroke person. So I'll also add a glow, thumbs up for glow. And I'll also change the color of the glow to be kind of a orangish 
color so it kind of matches the scene. And next you can click on the plus icon tab from the panel to load up the sound effects pack to give more dynamism. So there are tons of sounds to choose from here in this pack. And what I'm going to do is add one of the cinematic sounds. I'm going to preview some of the hits, which I will use for the punches. And I really like hit zero two. I think it sounds pretty good. So I'm going to double click to apply it to the timeline and then just move it over by pressing the Alt key and the arrow brackets to move it exactly when she throws that punch. And here's what it looks like. So then I'm quickly gonna do the same thing with about four or five more elements. And after about five minutes more of work, this is what I was able to create using these liquid elements and sound effects. So I think that this pack really shines out of all of the packs in this bundle. It's one of my favorites and I think it, you can do a lot with it. So have fun with this. The next pack I'm going to be talking about is the titles. So the AE Juice titles are really well designed. I was really pleasantly surprised when I opened them up. They're actually motion graphics templates. How easy they are to customize inside of the Essential Graphics panel. They have all the basics from font customization to color customization and they have animation retiming. So I have not seen this yet in a motion graphics template pack, but what's really cool is that you can adjust the timing of the in animation and the out so it perfectly fits your edit, which is a huge time saver. So let me show you a few of them here inside the panel. I'm going to double click on the description 01 gradient to import it into my timeline. And then I'm gonna go to the essential graphics panel, going to do some customization of the text and the font. I'm going to adjust the colors to fit the brand. The one thing about this gradient is that I wish that the colors were a little bit more customizable. Right now, the strength isn't that high. I'd like it to be less subtle. So for future iterations, I'd love a little bit more ability to control the strength of this gradient. But the best part here is at the bottom with customizing the in and out animation. So if you want the in animation to be two seconds, you have it start at zero and you go to two seconds. And then if you want it to start animating out at six seconds, you would just have the start be six and the out at eight. And then the full animation, you know, ends at exactly eight seconds. So that's really, really cool. And I think that you guys would find this useful. It's there for all of the title animations to use. So definitely, if you're interested in good design titles, get this pack, if not the whole bundle. So now let's move on to the shape elements. If you open up the shape elements pack, you will see there are a ton of different shapes to choose from. All that you can overlay as transparent backgrounds on your video for whatever needs. It can be just like a pop, a box, a star, anything you need to overlay on your video. And one that I use a lot in my tutorials are arrows to point at different things or circles to, to call out different areas of the screen. So I'm going to open up the arrow category here and you can see that there's a few different arrows to choose from. And I'm just going to click on this arrow here and you'll notice when it's imported in the timeline, it's actually a movie file, not a Mogurt. So in order to change the color, we're not gonna go to the essential graphics panel, we're gonna go to effects and search for an effect called change to color. And this is where you would choose the starting color as red because that's what it comes as. And then you would change it to whatever color you want. In this case, I'll change it to a yellow. And the only downside here is that it's a little bit of a process to change the color. I hope in the future that they'll change it to a Mogard file so that way it's easier to customize in the essential graphics panel. But then from here, we can use the effect controls to then resize the arrow, rotate it and move it into place. And this is the final effect that you can do. So definitely browse the shape elements, check out the promo to see if it has the elements that you need. But again, if you get the bundle, it comes included, so can't really go wrong. So now let's go on to some of the animated emojis that come in this pack. 
So in a lot of YouTube videos today, you'll see like pop-ups coming up where somebody is throwing a flame or somebody has a hat on or little pop-ups just to make it more interesting. It's a popular thing to do, even just for a talking head. If you wanted to put a hat on me, a mustache, some bunny ears, you can use the animated emojis and icons in this pack to do that. So for example, for a YouTuber, let's say that you want the typical thing, like this video, it's very cliche, but hey, everybody says it. So like this video and I can have a little animated uh, thumbs up come up with like a little sound effect and you can do that using this pack. So right now we would just go inside of Premiere Pro. I would find that thumbs up icon, double click to apply it. And once again, it's a movie file, it's not a Mogart, so you cannot customize the colors in this, but I think that's okay because it's just a pre-animated comp and it works for YouTube and for social videos. So once it's here, you can just use effect controls to resize it into place. So that's how you use the animated emojis, really easy to use, browse them, see if they're gonna be useful to you. Another really cool component about the bundle are the seamless transitions. Seamless transitions can be used for vlogs, for travel videos, for weddings, to tie two different clips together in a creative way, whether it's a spin or a zoom or some stripes, really, really cool to use. And I guarantee you'll probably use these in almost every video. So. Right now, the team is working on optimizing the transitions to be used inside of the panel in Premiere, but until that comes, which is coming soon, you have to download the bundle as its own separate set of project files and import them into Premiere Pro to use. So let's jump in and I'll show you how to use them currently as project files. For this demo, I'm going to use one of the shake transitions. So I'm gonna open up the shake folder category and then switch to the icon view so that way I can hover over each of the different types of shakes to preview them. If you try to drag one of these transitions into the timeline, you can see it just appears as its one nested sequence with the preview footage. So to fix that, we actually need to hit Control Z to undo and then click on the icon in the timeline that says insert or overwrite sequences as nest or individual clips. Then you can turn off V1 source patching. So that way the footage, the preview footage from video layer one is not carried over. So now when we drag this transition, it appears as layers and our footage is on video layer one. And now the transition works. So let's play it back to see how it looks. So pretty much that sums up all of my favorite parts. There are literally so many different tools in here. It's a perfect tool belt for any type of video editor, whether you're a freelancer that's working on wedding videos, corporate videos, whether you work on a team and do branded content for Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube of that one platform, or let's say you're a YouTuber, you can use all these different titles in seamless transitions forever because it's not subscription. You pay for it once and you have access to all of these effects forever inside of Premiere Pro, which is pretty rare since a lot of different companies now are going subscription only. So if you decide you're interested in this, remember you can always use my code GAL10 to get 10% off. So thank you AE Juice for sponsoring. And now it's time for the comment of the week. Phil Kelsey wrote, can you make a facial blemish or a broken tooth disappear by having Premiere Pro track it and mask it out? This comment was left on my video, Six Masking Effects. If you haven't checked out that video, I encourage you to go check it out. There's a lot of useful tips in it for masking. But yes, Phil, there is a way to remove blemishes. I actually made a whole video on this, but I actually recommend using a plugin called Continuum's Beauty Studio. And in that video, I'll just recap it here shortly, I was able to actually use my face as a model to actually clear up my face to make it more extra smooth. So it essentially puts a mask on the face and it tracks it using the Mocha Pro technology, which is part of the Boris FX suite. And it's really easy to use. So I encourage you to check that out. In terms of removing a broken tooth or covering that, that's a little bit more difficult because you actually have to replace that tooth, which you'd probably need to use with Mocha Pro and some more heavy effects inside of After Effects, not in Premiere Pro. But you can use the Beauty Studio effect 
to actually make teeth whiter. So you can smooth the skin, remove any pimples or anything like that and make the teeth whiter. So definitely check that out. And thanks Phil for uh, asking that question. And if you guys have any other questions, be sure to leave a comment below and maybe I'll answer it in a future video. So thanks so much for watching everyone. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.